Hey guys, how you doing today? Boy, it's nice and crisp and cold out here, I'm telling you right now. Looks like a big show line, though. Yeah, I got. I guess one of those things that's a little challenge. Oh, wait a minute, you're pitching up, you're almost going straight up. What are you doing? Well, right, I said that he didn't check out the ceiling, but he's probably see where I probably were. And they're probably not very high, but aren't you glad that you've got the ability to uh, check out the rules and do some maneuvering that uh, most airplanes can't do, like go straight and still and almost, uh, well, you just turned it on a dime and gave us nine cents change. Yeah, okay, let's see if we can do a, a little square loop here. A square loop? Okay. Okay, let's, there's side one. Are you going to go upside down? Oh, no, no, we're just going to go backwards. Uh, no, I can't do upside down. Over here, do that, but they can't go backwards either. <laughs> That's right, they can't. All right, well, then uh, you're going to square it off now for the next side going down, right? Yeah, we're starting down with the vertical right now. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, a square loop. What's coming up next, Roger? Well, let's see. Uh, let me think about that for a minute. I'll tell you what, we'll do a couple hammer hammerheads again, and uh, we'll do one of the show. I'll show off those uh, beautiful motors. Yeah, that's right. Let's see if we can get a little more action going on this one. Let's see what we Looks like you got some pretty good wind coming from uh, show right. Okay, here we go. We're going to wait the show line and we're going to pull right up. How big is the rotor disc on your helicopter? It's about 35 feet across. And what kind of lifting capability does your helicopter have? Not bad. Well, the maneuverability of the helicopter is uh, unmatched by anything, uh, any other kind of airplane. That rotary winged flight, uh, that's pretty cool stuff, isn't it? It is, it is. And, uh, see what we're going to do here. Let's, uh, let's just come up here like, real quick and see if we can do uh, a a tail slide, okay, oh my goodness! <laughs> That's awesome, looks good, bud. Boy, well, that'll get your adrenaline rushing around a little bit. Yeah, it certainly will, particularly when you got all that downwash making it so cold. You got some pretty good wind chill factor. Now, you gonna hover it for us? Yeah, this is the hardest job in the, uh, in the show business right here, is the harboring and chewing bow gum, bow gum at the same time. What am I going to do today, but tomorrow we're going to get the bow gum blowing contest with the kids. Now that will be fun. Now hovering is kind of like standing on a beach ball and rubbing your head and patting your tummy all at the same time. Yeah, that's exactly right. And uh, if you just fall off one little part of it, then you're, you're gone. Let's see, if we can, uh, let's see if we can do some pirouetting here. We'll kind of come down the show line and do a little pirouetting. All right, now you, oh my goodness, you're going side, oh, look at that. You're pushing hard on one pedal, you're pretty hard, aren't you? You know, if you had an itch on your nose, you'd be, you'd be out of luck. You know, that wind going through the door, I almost blew my hat off. <laughs> We'd have been looking for it. We, we'd have sent it, we'd have sent out a car to get it. Tell me about how your hands and feet are busy all the time. Well, you've got five flight controls. You've got two pedals, a collective, a throttle, and a cycle. And uh, all we can do if I can keep the wind out here, we'll just go to the hover. We'll just do a little hovering lesson here. Are you ready for that? Yep, okay, so the cyclic is like a joystick, right? Yeah, that sticks right between your legs. It comes right between your legs just like a stick in an airplane. And it is used for directional flight. If I push it forward, I start coming forward, the nose goes down. Then if I pull it back, the nose goes up, and I start moving backwards. Or, let's see, let's get level here. If I push it to the right, then the helicopter's going to go to the right. So it's used for directional flight over the ground. Okay, now what is the, you said you had something called a collective. What is the collective? Now, the, cl the collective is a throttle. It's got a throttle on the end of a stick that I hold in my left hand. And all I do with that is if I want to go up, I pull up, and it changes the pitch in the rotor blade, just like having a fan. And all of a sudden, you change the pitch in the fan, but you keep the RPM the same, and it'll go up. So here we go. I, I pull up on the collective, and up we go. We're starting to climb right now. And I'm holding myself over the ground with the cyclic, and we're climbing on the collective. And if I push the collective down, then gravity takes over, and down we come. You gotta be real careful. You can start settling faster than you can quit. Oh gosh, okay, now tell me what do the pedals do for you? The pedals is to point the nose. When we're hovering, I just use the pedal to point the nose. If I want to pedal, point to the left, I push on the left pedal, and away we go. If I want to point to the right, I push on the right pedal, and away we go. If I want to go all the way around, I just hold that pedal for a little bit, and all the way down. 
Now, what does that, what do those pedals actually control? They're actually controlling the pitch in the tail rotor blades. The tail rotor blades and the main rotor blades are all turning at the same RPM, and I control that with throttle. And then uh, all I do is just change varying pitch in those blades, and I get the improvements. So that's, that's to counteract the torque that would happen if the uh, rotor goes one way. If you didn't have that rotor back there, your helicopter would spin out of control, wouldn't it? That's correct. And, and I'm going to give you the affirmative auto style. So here we go. There's my nod, yes. Well, Otto, you're, you're doing a great job uh, giving us a helicopter flight lesson. This is pretty nice stuff. What do you have for us now? I tell you what, let's, uh, let's just do a little barrel racing here today. I've got some barrels set up out here. So uh, race around them like a horse, and uh, the record time is 15 seconds, and let's see if we can go. If we knock the barrel down, we're going to lose a five-second penalty. We can start the clock here. Uh, you can start the clock off right now. Got it. Got it. So uh, that's not bad, you know, that's still faster than you can go on uh, on Interstate 64. Let's see, let's see what we can do sideways here. I got the GPS 
So six point uh, times point one five, so that's sixty nine miles an hour, just shy of seventy, right? You can tell when you're getting to the max speed limit because you start running out of left pedal because you got to be able to keep the nose straight and you start overpowering your tail rotor thrust. Ah, gotcha. There's a lot of physics involved in flying a helicopter that I don't think we'll bother telling anybody about, but it sure makes it amazingly maneuverable. It is very maneuverable. Magic carpet ride, only noisier. That's good for today, and we'll be back tomorrow with a lot more. All right, Otto. Thanks, everybody. Now, uh, thanks, Otto. We'll catch you when you get back on the ground, bud. Okay, and I'm going back over to the other three. Roger that. That's Otto, the helicopter, and I hope you'll join me in a nice round of applause for Roger Bias, Otto, the helicopter clown, here at the 2009 Naval Air Station Oceana Air Show. We are glad you're here today as we think pink.